Hi, you guys. Happy Friday. Hey, my apologies for the last two Fridays, but it's been a little bit of a whirlwind here at Fit for Life. So I'm coming in here today, and the topic for today is going to be the five P's that physical therapy can help you with. I was going to call it my five, um, five things that PT can help with, but I came up with a cute little acronym. Well, actually, all of, the, all of them start with P, so it's my five P's that physical therapy can help you with. Well, hi there, Jenna. Anybody else that pops on, um, please say hi so that I can tell that you're here. And if anybody has questions while we're talking, this is meant to be interactive, so... Hope you guys can catch it. If you catch it on a replay, go ahead and comment replay below. And I hope you guys find this to be helpful. So once again, today's talk is entitled The Five P's That Physical Therapy Can Help You With. And I thought this might be um, something valuable to share with you because one of the things I've learned in the 20 some years that I've been practicing physical therapy is that people don't always know what exactly it is that we do at physical therapy. I think for most people, if you um, something happens to your neck or back, you it's pretty, pretty widely accepted that maybe you go see a chiropractor to help with that acute pain. Um, if you um, feel a nagging pain in your knee, then you know, maybe you're supposed to go to your doctor to see, you know, maybe they should do an x-ray first. Like these are some of the things that I've experienced um, sitting on the other side of the table as a physical therapist. So I wanted to use this opportunity to dispel some of those myths and to really explain that physical therapy can and should be the first place you go for most musculoskeletal things. So here are my top five P's that physical therapy can help with. Some of them you may have heard before. So the first thing that a physical therapist can do is help you with your posture. And you definitely have heard me say that before as I'm sitting a little slouched in my, in my chair here. Posture is largely responsible for driving many musculoskeletal complaints that develop over the life your lifespan and much value can be gained by understanding what good posture is sitting standing and sleeping how you spend your days with your posture can go a very long way to the, um, one of the other um, P's that we'll talk about next. So my first thing that physical therapy can help you with and should help you with is your posture. The second P that physical therapy can help you with is pain. So when pain or injury strikes, whether it's neck pain or back pain, especially if it's acute, especially if it's acute pain, a physical therapist is the person that you should go to first. We don't have to have an x-ray or an MRI. You don't have to see a doctor for a referral, at least in the state of Ohio and most states now. You, you, don't, you don't need imaging. You don't need medication. You don't need doctor's orders. You should see a physical therapist first, especially if it's new onset pain for the neck and back. Not just neck and back pain though. A physical therapist, we, you know, most of us these days are doctors of physical therapists and we are trained in diagnostic tests for the body. Like we are experts in normal movement and in, in the body systems and the mechanics of the body. So any pain that you may encounter, now I'm not talking about an injury where there's an obvious fracture, but shoulder pain, knee pain, hip pain, foot pain, elbow pain, hand pain. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Knee pain. Any pain that you may be encountering in your life, musculoskeletal, joint, muscle pain, 
a physical therapist is the person that you should see first because we are trained to adequately diagnose and accurately diagnose a problem. If we see something that looks sinister, then we refer out to the professional to take the images that, are, that may be necessary. You can oftentimes save yourself time and money by seeing a physical therapist for your pain first. Number two was pain. The third thing that physical therapists can help you with, the third P, is prevention. This is quite possibly one of my favorite areas to treat and it's, I also think, closely related to posture, as I indicated earlier. If you take good care of your posture, you also will go a long way in terms of preventing some very, very common overuse or stress and strain type things. There are often signs before there are symptoms, and I've talked about this in the past. So a good physical therapist can take a look at your system and see what is going on in your body that might be setting you up for a future problem. And that's not just important if you are, you know, in a middle-aged mom or dad trying to, you know, train for a race. Um, it's not just important if you are a young student athlete. It's important if you are trying to be fit, active, healthy, have longevity, to be able to live to your best potential, to be the grandparents that are able to get up and down from the floor and play with your grandkids or hold your grandbabies without worrying about the neck or shoulder problem that you're having. So prevention is the third P that physical therapy can help you with and it might possibly be one of the most valuable and the most fun. There's less pressure as a physical therapist to treat someone who's not hurting and in pain, which we are very good at, at helping with, but in order to work, have time to work with a patient who really just wants to optimize their system, their operating system, and, and strengthen and stretch and address the specific things that your body is showing signs of is one of the most um, fun and rewarding, uh, I think, um, areas to work with in physical therapy. So the last two, the last two P's kind of go together. The first one that uh, physical therapy can help with would be pre-surgical, and the last one would be post-surgical. And what I would say here is uh, definitely it is my goal as most physical therapists is to avoid surgery if at all possible. And we definitely believe, most of us, that, that surgery can and should be avoided, but there are times when it is necessary. So if you're finding yourself in a situation and you're facing surgery, it is helpful to have some physical therapy before that surgery because we can show you the things to do that will strengthen the muscles that need to be strengthened. We can You can be set, set yourself up for optimal results after the surgery. And we can oftentimes also do a bit of a good job explaining about what's to come. I think what I've definitely heard from some of my patients is there isn't always fully informed consent. <laughs> they don't always understand all of the things that are going to come that are gonna be involved with that surgery. And a lot of times we can help in the education process so that you know what to expect, what the rehab is really gonna look like in the recovery. And so physical therapy can help should you find yourself looking at surgery, can help before. And then without a doubt afterwards, please come to physical therapy after you've had surgery. It is gonna be necessary to get things operating on all cylinders again, to strengthen to help heal, to help the surrounding structures start to come back online. And um, really, unfortunately, I think sometimes, particularly for spine patients, I have found that the patients will go to the, to the surgery for their spine and the surgeon says they're cured and they don't come for any physical therapy. And unfortunately, that sort of sets the patient up to develop stiffness and scar tissue and faulty movement patterns. And it's, in my mind, if you have to have surgery, a few sessions of physical therapy afterwards would be very valuable. So there are my five P's, five things, P's that physical therapy can help with would be 
posture, pain, prevention, and pre and post surgical. And I have one more that's a bonus for you. The sixth thing that I believe physical therapy can help with is quality of life. And that is often something that comes as a byproduct. Many of my patients, you know, by the time they come to see me, they've suffered with something for a very long time, maybe um, shoving it down and I don't know, especially as women, well, men who don't want to go get it taken care of, but then women who are too busy to go get it taken care of, and the quality of life gets squashed, where, where this pain that they've been experiencing literally has stopped them from doing the things that they love doing and enjoying the life and living, you know, with their, you know, doing things with their family. And so... Um, absolutely, without a doubt, the net sum of all of this and the number one benefit that physical therapy can help you with is quality of life and returning quality of life to you should you happen to need a physical therapist. So that's my um, advice for today. I hope you guys found this valuable. If you um, have any questions or comments, share them below this video. Thank you guys so much. Always open for questions on Fridays. Um, I'm thankful for you guys. I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Friday. Thanks guys. Thanks Jenna. Have a good weekend.